Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about how to define multiple throw and catch statement in a single block in C++ exception handling. Multiple catch block are used when we have to catch a specific type of exception out of many possible type of exceptions that is an exception of type character or integer or double. It is possible that a program segment has more than one condition to throw an exception. In such cases, we can associate more than one catch statement with the try, similar to switch case. Let's see the program that define multiple throw and catch statement in C++. First of all, inside the main function, declare one integer type variable that is ch. Inside the definition of try block, first of all, with cout, display the message, enter your choice. And with cin, input the value of ch. Then check the condition. If the value of ch is equal to equal to 0. If this condition is true, then display the message see out hello. If user input the value of ch that is 0, in this case this condition is evaluated to be true and hello is to be printed onto the screen. There is no exception in this case. If first condition is evaluated to be false, then else if condition is to be evaluated. If this condition is evaluated to be true, then try block throw an exception which is of integer type. If second condition is evaluated to be false, then control transfer to the third condition. If the value of ch is equal to 2, Then try block throw an exception which is of character type. If third condition is evaluated to be false, then fourth condition is to be evaluated. If the value of ch is equal to 3, Then try block through an exception which is of double type. If all above conditions are evaluated to be false, then see out display the message by. In this code, we have used multiple throw statements. First of all, if condition is to be evaluated, if first condition is evaluated to be true, then there is no exception. Hello is to be printed, then exit. If first condition is evaluated to be false, then second condition is to be evaluated. If second condition is evaluated to be true, then throw an exception which is of integer type. 
In the third case, exception is of character type. And in fourth case, exception is of double type. And finally, if all above conditions are evaluated to be false, then print the message by. Now, how to use multiple catch? Multiple catch blocks are used when we have to catch a specific type of exception out of many possible type of exception. Different types of exceptions are there. If exception is of integer type, then corresponding catch block is to be evaluated. First catch block is for integer type exception. And that takes variable of integer type. And display the message integer type exception. And value of A is to be printed onto the screen. Second catch block is for character type exception. If exception is of character type, then corresponding catch block is to be evaluated if exception is of character type then second catch block is to be evaluated that takes the variable of character type And inside the body of catch block, display the message character type exception and display the value of B. If exception is of double type, then third catch block is to be evaluated. Right? If the value of CH is equal to 3, then try block throw an exception which is of double type. And inside the body of catch block display the message double type exception. And display the value of C. Now run this code. Now after the execution of this code, first of all, try block is to be evaluated enter the value of ch now if you use the input the value is 0 now in this case the output is hello there is no exception run this code for second run now enter your choice now if you use the input choice 1 In this case, second condition is evaluated to be true and try block through an exception which is of integer type and value 10 is copied into A an integer type exception 10 is to be printed onto the screen. Again run this code. Now if user input a choice 2. Now in this case, third condition is to be evaluated and try block through an exception which is of character type and corresponding catch block is to be evaluated that handle the exception and character type exception and value of B is A. Again run this code. Now enter your choice. Now if user input a choice 3. Now in this case the output is double type exception. 
and value of C is to be printed onto the screen. If the value of CH is 3, 3 is equal to equal to 3 and try block through an exception which is of double type and value 1.234 is copied into C. C out display the message double type exception. In this example, the code through an exception based on the value of CH. If the value of CH is 1, then it throw an integer type exception. If the value of CH is 2, then it throw an character type exception. And if the value of CH is 3, then it throw a double type exception. In exception handling, it's also possible to catch all exception with the catch all block. It is done by catch block without any argument. Catch all block do not take any argument. The syntax is catch then write down three dots inside the parenthesis. Then inside the body of catch all block display the message all types of exceptions. The catch all block will catch any exception. Now after the execution of this code first of all enter the value of ch. Now if user input 1 in this case the output is all type of exception. If user input the value of ch2, again all type of exception. If user input choice 3, all type of exception. As you may see in the code, a single catch block defined with three dots has caught all type of exception. That is an exception of type integer of type character, of type double, without even declaring it. This is all about exception handling in C++.